am back with another video and this video is gonna be good and it's a video that I want to keep emphasizing about uh, keeping the protein fibers of your skin which is collagen and elastin active in order to prevent the sagging of the skin so I am going to give you a nice recipe and so um, but first I want to say thank you for your comments and thank you for watching my videos I send you hugs and kisses and don't forget to share my videos girls because a lot of women need to know uh, the anti-aging beautifying secrets that I had practiced for so many years okay my friends let's start the video okay so we're going to be talking about castor oil I know girls I have talked about castor oil many times before but castor oil is an anti-aging oil it's an oil that helps to make collagen and elastin it helps your skin to be uh, firmer prevents the sagging of the skin big times and um, castor oil helps with the scars you know when you have a scar it's it's broken collagen so it helps with the scars it helps um, <clears throat> to uh, moisturize your skin really good for long periods of time due to the um, enormous amount of the fatty acids and, and castor oil. Castor oil is a, a hair uh, oil that helps to stimulate the hair follicles for hair growth not just on your scalp but also your eyebrows and your eyelashes and so um, Castor oil has so many benefits and uh, uh, the list could go on but um, the video will be too long if I explain every little detail about castor oil. But castor oil, uh, in another words, on the bottom line, very good for elasticity. So I am going to give you a nice recipe to, um, to uh, do it at home and uh, this takes castor oil, so what you're going to do, take uh, one tablespoon of the castor oil, take about 10 uh, drops of frankincense oil. Uh, frankincense oil is an oil that, um, it's great for elasticity as well. And also it helps to give you oxygenation to the body. mixing castor oil one tablespoon and I forgot to bring the coconut oil girls so uh, it requires coconut oil uh, coconut oil uh, another one tablespoon and and frankincense oil but I am going to tell you how to do it okay so you're going to take uh, a pot with water and you place uh, the, the castor oil, um, not the large container that I have here, you have to pour out in another container, so uh, in a, a smaller bottle, pour out one tablespoon uh, together with one tablespoon of the coconut oil. So you're going to warm the water a little bit, warm, until the oil is slightly warm, no, no hot, just slightly warm um, because if you do it too hot you're gonna kill the nutrients and so and later you add the frankincense oil uh, 10 drops so you mix all these three ingredients in a bowl after it's all nice and warm uh, transfer to a bowl um, would be better it, if it is a glass bowl and so don't use any metals uh, try to use uh, a wooden spoon or uh, yeah wooden spoon will be the best so you mix it all together and then you take like a piece of gauze or also you could take it um, like a really thin um, cotton material so you're going to uh, cut it uh, you're gonna cut it like this just to put in two pieces actually three pieces because 
you need it for your forehead as well so so you take one piece and put it like that and then uh, take another piece and put it over here in your forehead so what you're going to do is soak the warm oil into the gauze or a really thin cotton material and apply it on your face leave it for 45 minutes but the secret is for the oil to penetrate so fast and uh, give uh, you know heat into the pores for better penetration you're going to do the same thing you're going to like cut cut um, a piece of um, aluminum uh, foil so you cut it like that and place it on top of the gauze or the cotton material with the oil and then put another piece on your forehead do it for 40 days you're gonna see the improvement of your skin it's like I said big time it's gonna prevent the sagging of the skin but first before you do all this uh, procedure you need to take a little bit of coconut oil in your hands uh, and put probably like a uh, half of a teaspoon of um, baking soda and exfoliate your skin just exfoliate your skin the baking soda is so safe to uh, exfoliate the skin especially for mature women because the granules are so um, rounded and even won't scratch the skin so uh, you exfoliate exfoliate and then remove it with a hot towel a warm towel and then you apply um, the castor oil procedure a, a lot of you girls don't like the texture of castor oil after it's being applied on the skin don't try to wash it wash it until it's completely completely gone excuse me don't don't try to do that uh, you're stripping all the beautiful oil out of your skin and it's no good just gentle after uh, the castor oil treatment gentle use a warm towel and remove it just leave the foam of castor oil whatever is left over there just leave it there and uh, sleep like that uh, you could um, layer with your uh, face cream uh, so and the next morning you're gonna wake up really plump but it's going to uh, prevent the wrinkles the sagging it's gonna help uh, stimulate the collagen and elastin and it's going to replace those lipids that you had lost for so many years to keep the skin plump so hopefully uh, you like this video and um, I hate to go but I have to go <laughs> okay my girls uh, I'll see you later in the next video and uh, I'll be posting more videos and so um, you be blessed stay gorgeous and uh, stay healthy uh, don't lose enthusiasm uh, winter is coming becomes dark and we want to get depressed no the more dark it gets the more active you become the 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 more uh, enthusiasm to take care of yourself don't allow anything to sag <laughs> girls Know your face, know your skin, and most of all, don't allow your health to go down. So, um, blessings to you, and I send you.